How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Timberborn, and welcome back to the Iron Isles. Things are going pretty well at the moment. We are finally making bread, and despite the fact that we have just started a six-day drought, we have a good amount of water, we're still gathering water, we have a good amount of food, and we're still making food. So really, there's not anything to complain about. Which is nice. That's a nice way to start a video, I think. Despite all of this progress, though, I'm not entirely satisfied. I want to make sure that we can future-proof this colony. We have 10 children at the moment with four vacancies in jobs, which means that we are soon enough going to end up with at least six unemployed beavers. And I don't necessarily want that. So I'm going to get started today by coming into this space and building another one of those irrigation systems. We'll go ahead and just build our little square right there. We can go ahead and put another water dump up here. We can get ourselves some stairs just like this, and we can do this. And that's going to irrigate all of this land, which means I can build some more farmland, which means we can either make more bread, or we can get more potatoes, or just do whatever. It's going to be good. It's going to be important that we have a massive amount of food, and that's also why I'm building some warehouses down here, so that we can have that extra bit of storage. Now, what I'd also like to do is look into power, because we are generating just about enough to power the gristmill and the gear workshop, but I'd like more. And we have a few solutions. We could start looking towards engines, which will generate 400 horsepower uh, every hour with uh, just by burning some logs. But we need metal for that. And we also need 400 science. And the nearest metal that we have is over here, which is honestly probably outside of my district's range, even if I had some paths going over there. So I think in terms of metal, the best thing we could do is likely going to be setting up a district well i don't really know we could we could use this this is an underground ruin and if i could get some kind of mine for that although i think it's going to be this thing i i honestly don't know um we need to set up a district somewhere near all of all of this so we could set up a district here i don't know if that'd be too far away regardless we need metal I don't think we're going to get it today. It would be nice if we did. I just, I don't, I don't see that happening. My priority, to be quite honest, is just going to be securing a bunch more food. But I would like to do something about power. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here and I'm going to say, go ahead and mark that for demolition. Go ahead and prioritize that because I want that wheat out of there completely. And then what I'm going to do is go into landscaping, get myself some levees, and I'm just going to go down like this, over to here, and over to here. We're going to square off this little island. And if I place another levee right here, I can then go ahead and place another large water wheel. And then I can connect those guys together. We can use the straight power shafts to connect them and give essentially 360 horsepower to all of these buildings. Now, why are you sitting there doing nothing right now? You... Oh, you need power. I'm an idiot. I'm just talking about power. And I was like, why are you not doing anything? They need power. I... My genius. My genius is truly terrifying. Is what it is. That is... That's the only way to describe my genius. We'll get this place going in four and a half days. It'll be fine. It'll work great. Uh, I do just need this to go so I can get some uh, some platforms in there to connect those together. But I guess... We don't have... Uh, oh, we do have people working here. Interesting. We also only have one vacancy right now, which isn't too bad. So I'm not really too sure why this wheat isn't uh, isn't being harvested. That's a little bit odd. That is definitely, definitely a little bit odd. Unless there's someone in there doing it now, but I don't think there is. All right, well, I guess I'll be patient. It's fine. Let's take a look at these guys. And in fact, let's... Let's prioritize these guys. Let's prioritize getting this land irrigated and uh, getting it used. Because I think that's going to be really good for us. We'll get this whole thing built as quickly as we can. 
And uh, we also have this storage coming together as well. Although, this also kind of needs to be prioritized so they can actually get around that storage. This one up here is working already though. So that's not too bad. It is actually connected. It is. We are getting just outside the radius of uh, the district, though. If we take a look, we can see these lines are starting to go red. And in fact, this is the radius of the district. We can't really go any further than that. At least I don't think we can. So we might be pushing it a little bit. But I think, I think, at the very least, we'll be okay. Uh, now, the good news is we actually do now have an unemployed beaver and the reason that's good news is because we also have nine children so i'm gonna go ahead and turn off a bunch of these breeding pods because we just we don't we don't need all of them we'll keep three of them going we don't need seven or oh, seven of them yeah seven of them going we'll just we'll just keep the three and that way the population will sort of hopefully maintain itself a little bit Hopefully, it'll not go too crazy. Hopefully, things won't get uh, chaotic, and hopefully, they won't all starve, which, honestly, I'm not expecting them to do. We have got a good amount of food. It's actually the water that has me worried, so let's try dealing with that as well. Let's get some deep water pumps up here so that we can maintain a good level of water. We'll also prioritize getting, uh, getting those built, and actually... We should probably work on getting these hauling posts or the hauling post and builder's hut done as well. Uh, these guys are going to use logs and planks to be built. So let's do the hauling post first and unpause that because it is, it's only 20 logs and it's 10 planks. We have a bunch of logs, 276 and 18 planks in storage. So this thing should get built pretty quickly and we can go ahead and hopefully pretty quickly uh, get people working there. We do have three unemployed beavers, and in fact, we had, uh, wow, that's five of them already in there. Okay, let's get this going as well. Let's get the builder's hut built, and hopefully that means we can see a good amount of beavers work in there to help us build everything, which again is hopefully going to uh, keep them working. Yeah, this thing's going really well. That's That's good. Uh, these things here, though, I will say, these are not being built at all, which is kind of annoying. We need uh, we need those planks to get moving. Although I imagine a lot of those planks are probably going on uh, on a lot of this, right? Oh, no, they're not. Weird. Okay. That's actually kind of surprising. I was expecting the planks to all be going up that way, but I guess... I guess the beavers want to build other things. That's that's fine by me. I mean, if they if they want to build other things, I'm I'm not going to judge them. Although I am going to judge the fact that they still haven't got rid of this wheat, which I really really do need them to do. I also really need them. I, there's a lot of things I need them to do. I need I need another farm to be quite honest. I think uh, I think we will go ahead and start working on another farmhouse, which could go here. I don't hate that as a spot for a farmhouse. I also don't hate that as a spot for a farmhouse. I actually kind of like that one. We'll go for there for that farmhouse and uh, we'll set the workplace to low priority. And I think for this, we can prioritize potatoes or do we want to do carrots? Carrots grow quite quickly, but they're a relatively, are they a low yield? Or am I just imagining that? Carrots grow in four days and it yields three. That actually doesn't seem too bad. So I, yeah, I don't, I don't actually know that I, I don't know that I dislike that. Regardless, it's going to be low priority, so it's not a, uh, a huge deal. Oh, this is going as well. Beautiful. So we have some builders. We have some haulers. We have eight children, four vacancies. So, oh, the drought's over as well. Hopefully that means, it's, oh, this is gone as well. Sorry, there's a lot of things happening. Uh, hopefully this means that we are going to see more things actually get built. Uh, but what I'll do is I'm going to do this and this. I'm going to go ahead and do a platform here so we can get through there if we want to. And then in terms of power, we're just going to do a straight power shaft across so that these guys are connected, which means, you know, double the power, which means this is all going to work efficiently. And as soon as the water comes back through here, we are hopefully going to see gears getting made again. We're hopefully going to see bread getting made again. And uh, you know what? We also really need this water tank. We also really need these. There's a lot of things we really need. 
There's way too many things that we really need. It's getting kind of ridiculous, actually. Oh, no, this is good. We have the large water tank going, and it's filling up pretty quickly, but that's not a bad thing. We also have these two extra water pumps going as well, so just in general, I'm, I'm actually quite happy about this. We have a really good amount of food. We have some bread. We have some uh, grilled potatoes. We have a bunch more potatoes to grill. We have so much wheat to grind up. In fact, we have so much wheat to grind up, I might want to consider getting a second grist mill. It really might not be a bad idea at all to get another one of those things because I do think it would help us out a lot. Uh, I also really need these platforms to be built so that we can get access to this warehouse because that's kind of important. It's it's a pretty good chunk of storage down here, although admittedly, every warehouse in this space is full. We, we, we really need this to be built. I just, I just know that this is going to take forever. This is not a small task. That is going to need a ridiculous amount of planks, as is this. I mean, this thing hasn't even been started yet. There's there's a lot of things that are going to take a while to, uh, to build around here. We also kind of need this to get built, which honestly I'm probably going to prioritize because we have 385 logs. So we'll try and get that going. And uh, also, to be quite honest, we probably should look into getting another lumber mill. And I've said this before, but I, I do think getting more plank production would be really good for us. And I do feel like we're at a point where we can kind of do that because I don't really feel like we are. I don't really feel like we're going to run out of logs if I get a second bit of plank production going. We have a lot of trees, so I think I think I'm going to I, I think I'm going to get more plank production. Uh, let's go into wood here. Let's go to lumber mill and eh, annoyingly I <laughs> annoyingly I am probably going to have to use another power wheel uh, this while it would be great to get this all built oh I don't know I, I could try and connect it to this space over here I absolutely could I could you know try and put it in here for example and it would go in there not 100% sure how it would connect to anything in there, but it would it would go in there. It'd be interesting. I just don't I don't know about that. Kind of it'd be a weird place for it. Although it'd be a weird well, well, I'll think about it. For now, I think what I'll do, just because it's a little bit more immediate, is a little bit of plank production, say here, and another little power wheel right about there nothing too crazy nothing too fancy it'll do the job it'll give us more planks and that's going to be more gears that's going to be more construction that's just going to be a good thing now we do not have two beavers working in here we now do uh we also have irrigation so when drought comes through we'll be okay which kind of has me thinking that maybe we should go to plant crops and maybe, maybe we should bring this planting area back a little bit. Because we have way too much wheat. So let's, let's do, oh man, I don't really want to do this, but I am going to do this. We're going to clear out that space. Uh, we're also going to say, mark those resources for demolition. Because then what I can do is bring a little path around there to sort of divide all of this. And then I'm going to do some potatoes or some carrots or, or whatever, really. I'm not really too bothered about what crop I go for. I just, a bit more variety in the food, I think, is is kind of an absolute win. So we'll see what we can get in there. We'll also go ahead and just prioritize ripping out all these crops because otherwise they are going to take forever to do it. I say forever. They're going to take their sweet time and do it, you know, when the priorities kind of line up i would prefer it was right now though just you know like these guys are doing uh so basically little path that goes right there little path's gonna go sort of over like this and you know those spaces are gonna be connected together and that'll be that'll be fine i don't i don't think i'm gonna go too crazy on a on a carrot farm here although i could 
I absolutely could. We could absolutely cover this space in it. And by all accounts, we probably should. Now that I think about it, I don't, I don't necessarily see any reason not to. I mean, the place is going to be irrigated during droughts, right? So it's, it's kind of the point is that we just use this as a massive, uh, a massive farm. So maybe we should. I also, like I said, I don't know that carrots are an amazing idea, but we'll, we'll give them a shot. They're one of the few crops that we, I was going to say they're one of the few crops we don't have. We only have two. Uh, there's, there's quite a few. There's sunflowers as well, but I guess that might give us sunflower seeds. I don't, I don't really know. Let's hover over this and see what it says. Sunflower seeds. Days to grow five. Deals with hunger. Oh. All right. You know what? Let's do sunflowers. That seems nice. It takes a little bit longer than carrots, but it's also a different food. So sure. You guys can focus on sunflowers and that'll be, I want to, I want to say that'll be lovely, right? Be nice and bright. Make this place seem nice and pleasant. That again seems like an absolute win as does the fact that this is now being built oh man we're getting into like a really good place i feel like we're getting really close to actually uh moving and, and getting a second district oh my god there's a lot of trees on that island and oh my god there's a lot of scrap over there okay suddenly I have an idea. Suddenly I'm thinking we could try and cross over here, get some stairs, kind of go down here and cross over. We would need to establish some kind of district in the area. Oh, all these little islands would be so fun to connect together. Uh, yeah, if I wanted access to this, we would need to establish a new district. But I feel like we could. I feel like it wouldn't be impossible. I do feel like the only problem we would have is uh, this pine tree kind of needs to go away. Well, I say that. It doesn't It doesn't strictly need to go away. Uh, we also have 810 science. So I'll tell you what we're going to do. Let me... Oh, I don't know if I want to do floodgates. I'm going to be honest. Although if I did a floodgate, all this water would flow around here and stop flowing that way. So it might actually be good for us. Oh, uh, this might be a terrible idea. I'm going to try something. We're going to try something and see if it works. Uh, give me a levy there. Give me a triple floodgate. Oh, you can't walk across those though, can you? All right, that was a waste of science. All right, give me the double floodgate as well. And the normal one will unlock it shortly. Oh, do I have to try? How do I build these? Do I have to just stack them, I guess? I don't necessarily want to block this entire thing but I'm gonna do this and oh man I guess I could do some dams or something I don't I don't really know what I'm gonna do here um hmm you know I think I'm just gonna block it up I think I'm just gonna block it up and we're just gonna see what happens if I uh, if I do that because that is going to give me a path that comes across here. And I want to say that's kind of important. I do. I, I do think that's going to be good for us. It gives us access to these trees. It gives me the potential to establish a new district down here. And if I can do that, I can get access to ruins. Oh, that's a lot of ruins, man. That's a lot of scrap metal. I, like I said, I don't think we're going to get that today. But I, I would very much like a setup where we can get close to to getting a bunch of scrap metal um i am also sort of keenly aware that if this backfires number one this is a lot of wasted material and number two uh, i could flood everything like if the water built up a little bit here it would start flooding things i don't think it's gonna but it would and that would be bad oh we have a drought coming in in three days okay so that's not really the end of the world to be quite honest we have a lot of water. In fact, I think we have a full... Yeah, this large water tank is full. Uh, so that's actually good. That's that's actually a really good thing. Can I get some more large water tanks in more interesting places? Uh, like here, for example. Could I get like, I don't know, a large water tank here and a large water tank there? I mean, I know I could. I just don't know if I should. 
Oh, now right there would be a wonderful spot for a water tank. I mean, it wouldn't. I mean, it, it kind of would. But, I mean, the top of these guys would work as well. They actually really would, now that I think about it. Right there and right there would be great spots for these water tanks. Or there and there, but I don't know how well that would work. I think, honestly, I'm going to try and stack these. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I don't know how we're going to get access to this one necessarily, but we'll figure that out. Actually, I think I do know how I'm going to get access to that. Let me go to platforms, double platform, triple platform. Mm, double platform. So double platform there and double platform there. Double, double, wait. Yeah, double and, and triple. All right. A little bit messy, but that'll work. This one actually needs to be a triple as well. And then we just do some stairs and some paths, and there we go. So that'll all connect together quite, I, I say nicely, I don't strictly mean nicely, but it's a lot of water storage, and that's a good thing. I don't think it's going to get built quickly, but it's uh, it's it's a lot of water storage, and that's, that's all I'm looking for. This is also going to be the first drought where this area is nicely irrigated, which is fantastic news, so... We have that going for us. We have a bunch of food, a bunch of water. We have a bunch of construction going on. Like I said, I can't complain. I really, really can't complain about it. This is, this is going well. No one's starving. No one's thirsty. I just, honestly, I just want to see if we can get across here. In fact, should I just get a bridge? Would, it, would a bridge be the way to do this? A hundred science for a one by one suspension bridge. What distance is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I can get a six by one. Interesting. A five by one, 1600 science. These are really expensive. Good Lord. All right. So I don't think I'm going to get a suspension bridge across there. I think we'll just let them build this and see what happens. I just, I genuinely don't know if they can build it, but we'll find out. They're building the first one at the very least, which is great. So, you know. Good luck to the beavers. Oh, I've just noticed a bunch of beavers just died of old age. We now have seven vacancies. So I'm going to turn the breeding pods back on here, which I'm pretty sure we can comfortably do. Yes, there's a drought coming in, but also, I mean, we have so much food and so much water and uh, it only seems to be going up. So not too worried about getting a few more beavers in here. Also, how's this going? Oh, God, I need so many planks. Also, these guys are going to need to be built in a reasonable amount of time as well. But that should be fine. I'm also kind of thinking that maybe I should do some levees down here just to sort of push that water through in a nice straight line to get some good water speed for this wheel. But that can probably wait. That's, that's probably not a priority. Uh, we can also... I, I might turn the priority of the hauling posts down a little bit and the builders thing as well, because they, while they are important, I don't think they're as important as other things. Basically, I, I think, I think haulers and, and builders, you know, we, we can kind of have them go and, and, and do other stuff. I think if anything, we could just make these sort of like lowest priority same with this guy. And then builders and haulers are like backup jobs as opposed to primary jobs. Also, do we have... I think we do have a large storage... We do. Beautiful. Okay. That's actually kind of surprising. They're moving materials into here as well, which is great. I guess that explains where a lot of the logs are going. Which is fair enough. I mean, you know, that's, that's kind of the point. Also, was this a seven-day drought? Good lord. Okay, well, suddenly I'm glad I have this larger water tank. Because I don't know that these guys would have uh, would have seen us through a seven-day drought. That could have been really rough, actually. That's good. I'm glad, I'm glad I'm actually feeling confident. I'm just, I'm waiting for the inevitable fall. If I'm honest. 
I'm I'm waiting for the point where I I I do something I can't come back from and we have a bunch of beavers just keel over dead <laughs> and we go from however many we've got what 40 beavers right now 44 beavers right now down to like four and at that point you know there's just going to be a comment or two that's like hey told you so and I'm going to like, yeah yeah I suppose you did oh uh, yeah that's a, it's one of the, one of those situations I can't argue back and be like no you didn't I just made a genuine mistake now you know what we could do we could look into getting double showers. We still haven't got these guys, and this will handle one of the basic needs that the beavers have. It'll handle the wet fur need. So let's go ahead and unlock the double shower. And what I'm going to do is just build... I might just build six of them along here, to be quite honest. These things are relatively easy to build, and there's not a whole lot else I could put in that space. So... We'll just do something like that. And in terms of a path, I mean, all I need to do is go and say delete or rather uh, mark resources for demolition. I'm just going to mark all of this for demolition and uh, we'll go ahead and prioritize it. And we'll just put a double path through there. And that's just going to be a great little space for the beavers to go and wet their fur and have a good time. I mean, obviously, there's no water in there right now. It's still two and a half days until the end of the drought, but when the drought is done it'll shear them up a little bit i would imagine it is it is one of their basic needs so i would have to imagine that'll be good uh we also have decorations which is a little something something we can play with we have like a bell rings at the beginning and end of a work day 500 science that's a lot give me give me a shrub i just want to put like a little little shrub in there just to brighten up the space and uh, honestly if i i probably should have put it near like a building that would benefit from it better but that's fine i could get some rooftops as well to put on some things which will improve aesthetics but then we actually have to get up there which is a whole thing although it would improve aesthetics and that would make the beavers happier i just We'll, we'll start with a shrub and uh, we'll, we'll go from there. Let's not uh, let's not get too carried away with all the uh, the aesthetics and whatnot around here. We can one one little thing at a time. We're still building this wall over here, which is actually coming along quite nicely. And so I was I was kind of hoping we'd get this thing done by the time the drought's done. But I uh, I kind of doubt that's going to happen. So we'll just we'll just see what they do. We'll see if they can clear this out for me. Everything's still irrigated. These sunflowers are actually growing surprisingly quickly. And let's just have a little look. Oh, they might actually get this done. They're doing this pretty quickly. I did increase the priority on this. So, I mean, that that would be why they're managing to build this quite quickly now. Which is what I want them doing. As for this, we just have one more resource that needs to go away. And there we go. They can come down, they can start working on these in their own time, and that'll be great. We're up to 15 gears, 17 planks. We have plenty of food. And I was actually looking into other types of flour as well, and I realized if I did get an aquatic farmhouse, we could start growing cattail roots, and apparently that can be turned into flour as well. Which might not be a terrible idea, but we just have... 1,193 wheat, so I just don't see the need, to be honest. I just, I just don't see the need to have more flour, or not flour, rather, um, more, I guess, things that can be turned into flour. We need another grist mill, to be quite honest. We also obviously need persistent power for it, which is why we do need to start working towards metal, but Regardless, we also do need another grist mill. Uh, this... Oh, man, they are cutting it close. Just over half a day left until the drought's done. Uh, I think... Honestly, I think they might actually do this. I think we might actually have a little wall here by the time the, uh, the water comes back, so... Gonna be really interesting seeing what this does. It's gonna be really, really interesting seeing if this actually starts to uh i don't think it's going to start backing up in a major way i don't think it's actually going to flood anything but uh definitely excited also excited that this is built that's kind of remarkable that they are managing to build all this this quickly let me uh let me prioritize 
these platforms, I think, so that we actually have the connections to, uh, to all of this. And then that's just going to be a massive amount of storage, which is exactly what we want. And there we go. Drought has ended. We're now in cycle eight. It is day one. And we consumed about half of the water and just over half the water in this uh, this basin. So that's... I'm not going to say... I'm not really that concerned about that, to be honest. Because, I mean, when it comes down to it, we have, uh, we have a basin down there. We have this basin right here that we could just start pulling water out of as well. So really, yeah, really not that concerned that we uh, we use that much water. We also have plenty in storage, and now that the drought is over, we can hopefully get around to building these guys, and then we'll just store even more. So, really, really not the end of the world at all. Uh, but like I said, I'm curious to see what happens as this water comes around and hits the wall, because it might create some kind of basin here. Water never really flowed in here, so... Let's take a look. All right, so it's connected with the wall, but I have to imagine it's going to stay at a relatively consistent height or it's going to drain out. I'm not really sure which, but regardless, that's not that's not too bad, I guess. I mean, I I, I again, I don't I don't I don't think it's going to I don't think it's going to fill up, but uh yeah, that's that's just kind of cool. Again, it gives us that connection over here, which is very important. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to build some stairs and I guess I'll put them there and I could put some, I want to say there and we can connect those together just a bit like this and we can probably put another district on, on this island. Again, I'm not necessarily going to do that today, but this is a great little connection as far as I'm concerned. I hope my beavers can get out there and build those stairs. If not, it's really not the end of the world. Uh, there's there's a lot for them to do. There is there is a lot for these little guys to be doing right now. And I'm I'm just I'm genuinely blown away by how quickly they're starting to turn this stuff uh, into actual buildings and not just plans for buildings. I'm also blown away by the fact that some of this is full and that we are I guess actually having opportunities to work on these barracks as well. That's that's kind of crazy. I do think this needs to be a priority though. I really do. I think this large water wheel as well as uh these uh these platforms and of course the power shafts I think they they need to be prioritized. We need this stuff to be powered consistently. We need it to be really really highly powered and I just think we need another grist mill and I've no idea where we're going to build it. I guess we could if we wanted to, we could, oh, we could do something stupid. We could, we could, <laughs> we really, oh, we could really do something stupid here. Let's, let's do something stupid. Can I get a platform? Yeah, I can. All right. Let's do something a bit stupid. I, I need a grist mill. We need a second one. It's, it's that simple. There's no getting away from it. There's no if, ands, or buts about it. We need a second grist mill. So, prioritize taking out those resources, please. And uh, what we can do is put some platforms in here, build a grist mill. It'll get power from this building. We can bring a little path out and some stairs up to it, and that'll be the entrance. And that'll be two grist mills. And that's perfect. That's that's basically all we need. So, platforms here. Uh, I hope this actually has a power connection. If it doesn't, I'm going to be slightly upset. But grist mill there, which will have power. And uh, wooden stairs can go we could put them there i actually yeah i kind of like that i do i think that's i think that's kind of cool it's really weird looking it's really really weird looking i could have made it taller actually i could have put it up in the same height as the other one but this this will do just fine oh now this is starting to look like such a cool little industry we have both of the water wheels going we have smoke rising we have gears turning we have another grist mill in the works or we will once we get the platforms up we have more large water tanks going as well this is just it's just satisfying to look at to be quite honest 
And then over at the other end of things, there's not as much in the way of moving parts, but it's still a thriving industry. We have all these trees getting chopped down. We have hundreds upon hundreds of logs stacked into a tower. I just, ah, I'm so pleased with how this is, this is looking and how this is going and how this is progressing. And I hope you are as well, because that's going to do us for today. I, I do know that we have a drought coming in, in about two days. I'm kind of hoping we can get the new large water tanks done, but if we don't, we'll probably be okay. Regardless, like I said, that is going to do us for today. Thank you very much for watching. It's been an absolute pleasure as always. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye bye